Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be taking a look at the latest update for Samsung Galaxy devices, and this one is for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So if you own a Galaxy S22 series phone or any other Samsung device, you might want to take a look to see if there has been any pushed updates coming out. This one is finally giving us the November 1st patch. Remember, I'm shooting this video here on the 21st, so we were almost finished with the month of November, and here is that November 1st patch. The size is 362 megabytes. And this version here ends in BVK1. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to update this thing. We're going to take a look to see if we can find anything else that has been updated other than just the regular security of the device itself. Now, if you don't know how to find these updates, if you're not getting those pushed updates, you just want to head inside of your settings. You're going to scroll all the way down, take a look where it says software update, and then you go to download and install. Now, the other thing that you can also do is from the screen, other than just the download and install, you can take a look at the last update and when you did it. So the last update that we had was October 31st, and this one was giving us that full Samsung WinUI 5.0 update. I've already had the beta version, so this is just the finishing touch of the beta version. Uh, everybody else got this one pushed out for them, and for us beta users, this was the finishing rounding off, getting us out of it uh, into the normal public version. So we're going to go inside of here. We're going to get this thing installed. Then we'll take a look to see what all has been updated. I have several different applications we'll be able to take a look at and a couple different services. Now, there are two things that I'm not able to take a look at in this update that I usually do every single month, and that is taking a look at the face recognition and fingerprint versions. Those ones have been moved around with Samsung WinUI 5.0, so I can't take a look at what type of patch or what versions we're sitting on. So we'll take a look at a bunch of other things and we'll also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store to see what has been pushed out because I believe there is a few updates that's been pushed out today, November 21st for a few Samsung applications. Now, it's usually at this point in the video, I like to state if your brand's new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now the update is done and complete. Let's take a look around the phone to see if we can find any updates. You know what? I do want to take a look inside of Samsung tips. Sometimes the tips might be adding in some things that are brand new. If you just updated the Samsung One UI 5, this is probably an area that you do want to head into because you can take a look at some of the basic features talking about how you're able to navigate the new Galaxy. Here's your settings and personalization. You got like seven different tabs here showing you a bunch of different things. Apps and productivity, there's eight tabs right here. Uh, pictures and videos, there's 12 of them here talking about a whole bunch of really cool things that you're able to do. Some of them, you know, I showed off in previous videos, but maybe you wanted to go through them, try it out yourself. So this one right here is talking about uh, six different things for your security and privacy. So go through these tips. It's a, it's an application that gets preloaded onto your phone. And definitely if you just got One UI 5, there is going to be a lot of new stuff in here because you're moving away from that 4.1. But now you do want to head inside of your Samsung Galaxy Store because there could be many applications being updated through here that you might not have seen. Looks like that there's nine different updates. Uh, so looks like Quick Share, this one was pushed out on November 20th, so just yesterday. Uh, let's say we take a look at Samsung Smart Switch. This one was updated on November 21st, which is the, the time that I'm shooting this video. Expert Raw, let's see if there was a last update here. This one was November 7th, so a few of these ones here within the last couple of weeks. Clock face. I know that this one, there's another one that you can do for your watch. So you might as well install the one for your watch as well. This one was updated November 21st, which is today. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to hit on update. Now we're going to move on back. And then we also have Samsung's text, uh, text to speech as well. So this one was updated on uh, November 2nd. So it looks like quite a few of these ones were updated either within the last day, within the last wee week, or sometime during this month. So you just want to go through, give these ones some updates. Uh, some of these might even show up during this update. So the one that was actually sitting on the very top, I can't remember which one that was. I think it was the quick share. That one was not sitting here before this update. Really, that's the only thing that I saw changed after this update. And the weird thing was that was one of those that was updated yesterday, but for some reason I didn't see it in until now. So first we'll take a look at Samsung Home inside of the settings on the very bottom. Just go inside of the About Home. Now originally this one used to be 140023. 140023. So this is the latest version of Samsung One UI Home. 
Now we're going to take a look at the camera just to see if there was any changes here. Again, it could be something small. Again, also with the security update for some of these applications. Originally it was 13.00098. This one is pretty much the exact same, 13.00098. So it looks like no update there for the camera. We'll take a look inside of the gallery. We'll see if this one has an update here. Again, Samsung doesn't give any updates or give us any details of these updates. So I'm just trying to find them uh, and then document it here on YouTube. So this one used to be 14.00031. This is the exact same number, 14.00031. So nothing new there. Now let's take a look at Samsung Wallet just to see if there was anything new here. Again, sometimes with payment systems, you might want to improve the, the security. This one was 5164. 5164, so nothing new there. Then we're gonna take a look at Samsung's My Files. So right here, My Files, take a look at the information. This one used to be 14100391. Uh, looks like we have the exact same numbers there for that version. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the Samsung internet. So, so far, as of right now, I've never seen anything change just yet out of a bunch of these Samsung applications. Uh, so this one used to be 19012. Same thing here. So it looks like for all of them that I've written down, there was nothing brand new. Again, just for regular documentation and curiosity reasons. So this was pretty much everything I wanted to show. Granted, I couldn't really find anything that's brand new. Again, that is the purpose of this video is to go through multiple different avenues, try to see what is new. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.